I do a lot of interventions. I'm a like artist, so I do a lot of in interventions in public space, and that's it's part of my my work to do it as a sculptures, also as films and videos and performances. And uh, Francoise came to me, and uh, we start thinking about doing an intervention on the monument of Joseph Gallieni, who is um, who was a military in the in the end of, of the 19th century, very involved in the colonies, in uh, the French colonies and very brutal. Um, so we were thinking about an intervention to do and I decided to, instead of doing a something and add something, I was dreaming that the most interesting would be the day that the city hall decided to remove the, the sculpture, the statue and move it maybe somewhere else. But since that day never, it, done, it, ha it hasn't happened yet, I decided to invent that day, to kind of go in the future and film that day. So I dressed myself and my assistants as workers from the city. We rent a crane and we did the whole kind of look, administrati administration look. Uh, we uh, hired some actors that looked like politicians. And uh, we did the whole intervention. We, we go, went, attached the statue to the crane. And then we made a video when you see the statue getting removed. And this video then was published in a newspaper, very serious newspaper, accompanied by an article by Pablo. Uh, w which was saying like, uh, finally, it was very kind of uh, fuzzy. Finally, the, it was decided to remove the statue of Joseph Galeni after the demands of many groups of uh, uh, different kinds of groups. And then this was published then in the media and uh, Twitter and uh, YouTube. And so it generates like a, a huge reaction for some days. So the idea was to make this kind of anticipation film, kind of uh, like Orson Welles style. Um, and to, uh, to generate a debate about this issue and then to place it kind of, uh, to place the issue in the middle of the table. And then use, not only, not only use, the, make a film as an artist film or like as a performance, but also like a media intervention. So it was interesting also to see like how big it could get. And then it goes actually very fast. We published it like by 8 p.m., 8 a.m. on the April 20 this year. And then, in three, four hours, it was already 40,000 views and hundreds and hundreds of comments. And then very quick at noon, all the politicians were getting involved because people were asking things to the city hall. And then that's why they decided to go and prove if, to see if the statue was there or not, because they didn't know. That was actually funny. Uh, when they, saw, made, they made a tweet saying like, the statue is there. <laughs> uh, I also like the idea that they prove it with an image. Me and Wiley have the image that proves the contrary. And yeah, so it was a kind of a surprise. I expected, I wanted to leave it more time because after we prepared some responses and we made like a second, a third article, and then we were interviewed by other medias. I, I my thought that was maybe it would be a rumor for a week, but actually it goes faster than I thought. And so in two days, in like in one day it was very big and I had calls, 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 calls. And the other day, the same. And then kind of three, four days after, it was kind of calmed down. Uh, and now it become more like an archive in a way. So it's still on, it's still, there's still some comments and there's still, but it's of course slower. M like my surprise was to see uh, that most of the comments were very positive. They were like, uh, because I thought nobody, not much people care about this or this monument, but actually a lot of people does. I think we need to work specifically in every case, and then some specific ones are very violent, and as this one. It's a tricky thing because it's an effect. So I place myself in a kind of dangerous zone because uh, it's a sort of deep fake, you know, and then it could, we know these deep fakes are used also for a kind of evil purposes. Uh, maybe some people could consider that my purpose is evil. <laughs> um, but I think, uh, like as an artist, I like to use different kinds of media uh, in my work. I like, I like this, I, that this project, it used media or like Twitter and then this kind of deep fake as a kind of tool as a as a brush in a way yeah as a tool that we use to build an artwork let's say or to paint uh, painting <laughs>
So I've been, I've been working around monuments for, uh, I guess, 15 years, doing interventions. I did this, one of the first one where I covered with mirrors this monument of a conquistador in, in Colombia, who supposedly discovered the Amazonian rainforest. And then it's kind of absurd because there's people living there before. And then there's not the other representations of these communities in the city, but this conquistador, uh, Francisco de Arellano. There is this argument that remove these monuments could be like equal to erase history, but I think we don't forget our history and we learn it in our books. Even. But this, some, some of these monuments are very aggressive and very kind of remind us every single second, every single minute, every single hour that uh, there's still dominations. No, I think there in the past two years, yeah, it's been an awakening about that because of the Black Lives Matter movement. I guess the pandemic also maybe made us, as you say, I, I never talk it like that way, but now you can, now that you say, um, since we, we were only in our houses and only allowed to maybe walk around the, the, the public space, uh, there were, we were not inside either institutions or inside places, uh, cinemas or uh, malls, or, uh, but we were just looking at the city. So maybe also because of that, it was more visible. The good thing is to, create a dialogue where we can project ourselves into the future and allow ourselves to be critic of our past without feeling bad or like feeling. And I, I think we could like embrace this criticism with sort of tranquility and say like understood that the past was complicated and then also project ourselves to the, into a future more kind of um, bienveillant, how do you say that? A future more... Uh, huh? Yeah. Welcoming, yeah. yeah, welcoming and welcoming and...